Hello, my amazing artists. Today we're going to use our imagination and the shape of a oval to draw different things. We're going to draw outside since it's so nice outside. I'm going to show you how to draw this imaginary planet shape, but there's other things we can draw with the ovals. You could draw maybe different towers. You could turn these into homes. Maybe drawing ovals to create little foreshortened illusions of holes. Foreshortening means that it gives you, you're drawing a line to make the hole look shorter to where someone could hide in it. You could also use what I'm going to show you today to maybe draw a fun looking sunflower or flower. If you need to, you could take a screenshot of this. This is the steps to create the craters that we're going to do. All right, I'm going to draw a marker just so that you guys can see it a little bit better. But you guys draw in pencil so that you can erase your lines. All right, to draw the planet shape right here. I decided to draw mine off the corner of the paper, but you can have yours go any way you want. I am going to draw a light with a pencil, a curved line, kind of like a rainbow shape. Then you want to draw two dots. You're going to draw an oval around those dots. Then uh, coming off the side, you're going to draw two parallel curved lines. That's going to create your first crater shape. To make a foreshortened crater shape, to make it look like there's a hole in it, you're going to draw a curved line inside, then color it in. So we'll do this again. And you're just going to repeat this step over and over. So I've drawn my two dots. Once you get really good at drawing ovals, you won't need to draw the two dots. But even Miss Dash messes up a lot, so sometimes it's good to draw them. So you're going to fill this completely with um, your crater shapes. When you get done, you notice there's some space in between the craters. That's when you're going to create like your triangle shapes or they're gonna be like mountains. So I'm gonna use a wiggly line to go in between them. They can overlap, meaning one goes in front of the other. See how this one's going in front of that one a little bit? They could also go behind them. So let me draw one that's going behind real quick. So, You're going to fill this completely up. You can then, if you want to add the darker marks, use your marker. And you're going to pretend where the sun's at. Remember last time I showed you you could draw a pretend sun? So I'm going to pretend that the light source is coming from here. So let's pretend this is the sun. So if this is the sun, it's shining on our cylinder shapes this direction. So our shadows would be on the opposite direction. So if my crayon touches here, that's where the light would be. Touches here, that's where the light would be. So it's going to be on the back side of your stuff, of your craters and mountains. You can draw some little hash lines with a marker if you want, or you could use your crayon to do this. This is adding shadows. It's making your objects more three-dimensional. I then chose three different colors for my imaginary crater shape. I chose red, excuse me, that's blue, red, and purple. Now, this shape, we want to show the illusion of it's round. So if I colored it up and down like this, 
that doesn't make it look like it doesn't give the illusion of the object being round but if I color horizontal and I get darker the farther away from the Sun it's gonna give the illusion of your object being rounder So you would continue doing this and coloring in your cylinders and craters, excuse me, your craters and mountains completely. You could then use your imagination. Maybe there's a spaceship. Maybe there's a little alien on top of here. If you decided not to do the planet, you could um, use the same idea, create a flower. If you're having trouble with drawing your ovals and creating a foreshortened illusion, I would start with the holes. To do the holes, you draw your oval or you would draw your dots, then your oval around it, then create kind of like a large rainbow and color it in. So think about if you're doing the holes, the closer you are to the object, the bigger they are. The farther away, the smaller they are. So your ovals would be larger closer to you and smaller farther away. If you're going to do the tall cylinders, it's the same thing as this one. You would draw your two dots, your oval around it. You would draw two parallel lines. We pretend where the sun's at. We're gonna say the sun's up here. So this would be my sun. You would draw your curved hash marks or you could use the crayon to shade it in. And maybe you have little windows in here and you create a village using the ovals. I want you to use your imagination and create something different using ovals. Hey guys, it's Miss Dash. There was a new vocabulary word that many of you have probably never heard before. It was foreshortening. Foreshortening, the definition is you using a line to create a three-dimensional um, illusion. So we used a rainbow line in our craters and colored them in to make it look like we could jump into our craters or something could come out of them. I can't wait to see your work and have a good day.